Okay, here we are, House of Design, uh, doing the second video in our series on how to use Robot Studio. Um, uh, in the first part of this, we created a station and then uh, created a robot system using just an IRB120 robot. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to make <laughs> what everybody loves to do, the fun part, make the robot move around, show how we use the tools to be able to uh, position the robot how we want to and also to sync it to a virtual controller and to run a simulation with a couple of points. So here we go. So up here you have the freehand uh, tools that you can use to be able to manipulate the robot. Uh, things to note, you have uh, your coordinate system, work objects, and tools. Right now we're just going to leave them all what comes default. Um, so here we have these two over here, you can manipulate objects and also the robot can move uh, positionally in, this, in the grid, uh, but this, these ones here actually move the axes of the robot. So jog linear, I can come in and I can click on it and you can see where it uh, creates the, the pull or the drag uh, components that you can use to manipulate the robot. What I like to do is uh, in the six axis robot we get singularities and that's where the uh, sixth axis and the fourth axis get in line with each other and they don't the robot doesn't know which way to go uh, lots of tools to be able to program around that but just to sh for this example I'm going to show you here that if you right click over here on the robot itself you can come down into mechanism joint jog and here you have the axial positions of the robot uh, axes I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make this 90 degrees and you can see that it put that straight down. just makes it easier so that you uh, get out of that singularity. So as you can see you click off of it or you can click on it and the, uh, the manipulator uh, disappears and comes back. So yeah, so let's create a couple of points. We're going to use this uh, 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 tool up here, Teach Target, to be able to do that. So I always create like what I call a home target, so I just hit Teach Target and it taught a target right there. I can manipulate this over, uh, move it down, teach another target over here. Uh, maybe we're gonna come up and have a, an approach target to that one. Um, and then maybe what we'll do is just come over to this side over here, teach a target there, come down and just do a little ISO uh, move. So there we have it. We, uh, If I move the robot out of the way, we can see that we have the home target, one, two, three, and four different targets. Over here on the left pane, you have paths and targets. You can click on that, expand it out, and now you're down into, uh, just keep going down into the work object. And inside the work object, work object zero, you have the five targets. So if you click on any one of these, you can see that they highlight over here in the, uh, in the 3D pane. So what I like to do is, uh, just at House of Design, we have very specific naming conventions. So uh, robot target, we always begin with an RT value. So here I'm just going to come in and I can just type in RT home. Um, over here I'm going to do RT, let's call it pick down. Next one I'm just going to do RT pick up. Next one, R, oh, RT place up, and let's just do this one is RT place down. So there we go. We have we have the targets now, and they're named. What we can do now, if you come over here and highlight all five of those targets, we can right click and we can do and say add to new path. So there we go. We just put them in a path. They're not organized in any specific way. Uh, well, I guess they are. They're organized in the way that we uh, selected to add them to. And then over here, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, you can manipulate them around so you can go home, pick up, pick down. I can even copy a target and place it there. And you're not going to create a new target. You're just copying that one. So now what you can see is that you can see that we go home, pick up, pick down, pick up. Then we want to go place up place down and let's copy that one again and then I'm just doing control C and control V um, should new targets be created? No. So now we got home, pick up, pick down, pick up, 
place up, place down, place up. It's a pretty good uh, path. You can uh, in Robot Studio, you can pretty much see uh, the path. What I really like about it is that it actually shows you the, uh, uh, the the arc going from a point to the other point. So the zone is what they call it. So now over here, if I just come over and I just click on it, I can name this main. And that's pretty important because we always have to have a main procedure to be able to enter into uh, into the uh, rapid program. So just by doing that, it makes it very easy to synchronize. So now that we have that, I can come over here and I can do uh, synchronize to rapid. So right now we're in a station. That's what we call this. This is a station and our virtual controller, House of Design IRB 120, that virtual controller is where the rapid code uh, is. So we need to synchronize from the station to the rapid. So that's what we're going to do there. I always expand this out. You can see exactly what you're going to be uh, synchronizing. Um, so yeah, just hit OK there and it goes through and it synchronizes up to, to the controller. So now what I can do is come over here on the controller tab, move over, here we go into the rapid, expand it out, process. We see that we actually have a main now. And inside that main, you're going to see exactly what we have. We have home, pick up, pick down, pick up, place up, place down, place up. And very easy now to be able to go through. There it is. We can go to the simulation tab. Come over to here, and we can hit play. And we can actually watch the robot go through and... Um, follow that path that we just created. So very, very easy to be able to create some robot targets, go through, be able to uh, show them over here in the paths and the targets uh, tab, be able to add them to a path, and then from that path, uh, synchronize it to the uh, robot controller, and then from the robot controller, we can actually run the simulation on it. So hope that was helpful. Um, all that you have to do is uh, like the video and we're just going to keep putting more of these out just to help people understand the power of Robot Studio. Again, it's House of Design. You can look us up on the houseofdesign.com and we'll see you on the next, next training video. Thanks.